Now, let's talk about what might be one of the most popular animes of the past summer season. We've got to talk about Mob Psycho 100. Um, at first, like, well, because look at the name. I had no idea what to expect with a name like that. But after I read some comments on it and heard it was by the creator of One Punch Man, I had definitely had to give it a chance. And being made by the creator of One Punch Man, this series had a lot of weight on its shoulders to carry, but I definitely think it succeeded. It's not trying to tell anything like the same story as One Punch Man, so they're really hard to compare. I'm actually getting some Mother 3 vibes from Mob Psycho 100, uh, especially a lot of the interaction between uh, the main character Mob and his brother Ritsu. Um, I'll keep this one short because I don't want to give a whole lot away because it's a really fun 12 episodes to sit through and now that it's over all you fans of binge watching things can just get it over with in a night or two and you will be glad you did because it's incredibly epic, colorful, somewhat heart-wrenching fun. The final anime I want to talk about that I watched this past season is The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Uh, instead of a 12 episode anime, this anime was 80 episodes. Fortunately for time's sake, all 80 episodes averaged about 4 minutes each. This is another anime about a youth with psychic powers that are sometimes beyond their control but this one is a much more comedic tone no big giant stories are being told here it's about a character psyche k just trying to live an inconspicuous life through high school unfortunately for the types of characters in anime who just want to live a normal life they are surrounded by complete oddballs uh, this includes his friend Nendo, the only person on Earth whose mind can't be read by Psyche K. Then there's Kaido, a young man who believes that there is a giant underground conspiracy that he is the only one that could uncover. And then there's Teruhashi, the self-described perfect girl who has made it her mission to impress Psyche K. Um, it's hard to explain this anime. Um, if you're a just an avid anime watcher, you should definitely check this one out. I guess it would be a comedic slice of life anime if slices of life had psychic powers, which I guess sometimes they do. It is anime. So if that sounds like an anime you would enjoy, um, give it a try and hopefully you're willing to click through uh, 80 different individual videos to see the whole series because if you're trying to do it all in one city that sounds like kind of a hassle good luck all right all that talk about anime is making my throat hoarse